everyone welcome back to Imkutech CAD tutorial today we'll be designing this simple 2d drawing all the dimensions are given which makes everything easy so without wasting much of our time please subscribe to this channel like the video and share with your friends so as you can see we have a baseline here of 30 units will be working in mm so this is 30 millimeters to us and we have a radius of 10 millimeters here meaning the diameter will be 20 millimeters that is 30 20 making 50 plus 60 making 110 plus this is also 10 10 plus 20 130 right okay we got that um plus 30 to get 170 it means the baseline here is 170 millimeters so go to line locate and any point you want to start i may decide to start from 200 comma 200 and then i'll draw i will draw 170 comma zero you all know how to do that enter double click on your scroll bar the scroll button on your mouse to bring the design close okay this is 170 as calculated 30 50 110 130 170 now you can see that we have 44 millimeters up by this side you can just simply put that down line 44,0 sorry 0, 0,44 rather 0, 0,44 it's because we are doing along the y axis there's no movement along x at that moment if you are using the Cartesian uh, coordinate method now the next thing to do is to draw this 70 millimeters up which is line uh, 0 comma 70 and there you go from this point now we have a fillet of 20 millimeter radius what does that mean it means from this place up is 20 millimeters also from this place to the right to the left hand side is 20 millimeters that is 20 20 so look at this from here to the center of this place is 20 millimeters therefore I'm going to just draw a line to form a box like this up. but for ease we will simply offset this baseline by 70 and by 20 up okay offset by 70 yes we're there offset by 20 I will simply close this place for ease now there was a fillet of 20 millimeter from this place to this place so let's go to okay, it's already showing here fillet then it will ask you to select first object this line then make sure you what right click select the second object you can see that but before you select the second object make sure your radius is correct so look at this it's already telling me radius is 20 millimeters if it's not correct tap on this and type 20 millimeters and then select the second object that is okay very okay now to get the center there's no need for any centers you can write you don't need any center so we are done with that now we can locate this point here and offset a 50 millimeter to this place or we can clear the base designs this particular place and this place before moving up so let's do that we can offset 30 mm to this place this line 30 mm to this place then 10 mm to the center 10 mm to this end let's do that 
also offset by 30 millimeters from this place to this place then offset again by 10 offset again by 10 make sure you cut them correctly and you can obviously see that there is an offset of 20 to the center of this semicircle here offset by 20 millimeters now this is the center of the circle which is the most important thing there we need to get that right draw a circle to this place no stress trim every unnecessary line that you are seeing select trim right click on your mouse mark all this and then we don't need this we don't need this right yes we don't need it in fact uh okay from this place to this place is 60 mm so we will be separating this to we will be needing this because it's the same um circle the same semicircle and the same diagram here so we are going to offset this line by 60 millimeters then we'll offset will offset by 10 by 10 again so offset by 60 mm yes offset by 10 by 10 there we go then we will draw the circle the semi circle again from the center to this place select trim we will cut out every unnecessary dimension one two three four the rest will be removed manually this will be removed manually now we got that right we are done with this base and this base so here is 40 millimeters because we have already calculated it in the first place now we we'll move on to the um, the design here so we're going to offset by 50 millimeters we will offset a line from this point by 50 millimeters to the right then by 15 and by 15 because the radius is 15 okay so first and foremost look at this point just like this end point this end point just draw a vertical line offset by how many mm again 50 to the right then by 15 then again by 15 and we're done we'll have to locate the center of the circle it is a line 30 millimeters downward right so we don't need this actually because we already used it in fact this is obsolete right now now offset by 30 mm downward to get the center select your circle and draw to that place We're almost there we we'll trim the unnecessary lines this is not needed not needed not needed not needed this is not needed as well this is not needed the rest can be manually removed okay so let's select this and this and clear them off the next thing to do now is to locate a point 35 millimeters away from this line that is from this line 35 millimeters away no stress offset by 35 mm from this place to this place and trim this place off again trim this place of as you can see we are at this point right now we can just simply join this so this is not necessary select your line and join this end point and there you go we are done with the design so if you want to dimension go to annotate linear dimension so we're going to dimension all the 
parts of the lines and make sure it's visible from this place to this place from this place to this place okay you can see that then we have the dimension from this place to this place was 44 yes then from this place to this place was 30 from this place to this place was 35 this point to this point yes was 60 right okay I think we have from this place to this place to be 70 let's see yes we have the radius the radius and all the radar are there one two three four so select linear radius the radius of this was 10 mm whatever you put it it doesn't matter if you want it inside the circle make sure it's not out you can see that Along, along, no. Okay. Well, sorry about that. So, radius. Now we have all the dimensions given. Okay, one more. This radius is there as well. And I think any other dimension? Yes, a linear dimension from this place to this place 20 millimeters. So I want to change the color of the dimension lines to make it more beautiful. So the lines should be in yellow while this should be in green and the text height is 5 mm ISO standard and enter so set current we have it like this to be right is it maybe we can just decrease it to the text size to three I mean looks too big okay perfect now Thank you for watching that is all for this video please subscribe to this uh, to this channel and like the video